Hello, my name is uh, Imad Absa. I'm one of the pediatric gastroenterologists here at the Mayo Clinic. Um, today I'll be talking to you about a recent review we did on um, fat soluble vitamin levels in children with new onset celiac disease. Um, as we all know, celiac disease affects the absorptive surface of the small intestine, mostly in the proximal small intestine. And that historically has been linked to low vitamins and micronutrients more in adults, especially fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K, and zinc, copper, ferritin, and iron levels. We really didn't know in pediatric patients if they will all have low vitamin levels or not, and it wasn't clear who should we check for low vitamin levels when we knew when we make their new diagnosis. So what we did is we looked back at our own electronic records between 1995 and 2012 and we looked at all the new patients, more children, who were recently diagnosed and at the same time of the diagnosis had their vitamin levels checked. Now we were focusing on the fat soluble vitamins which you can measure directly vitamin A, D and E, and e but vitamin K can be measured indirectly by measuring the prothrombin time, which is a marker of clotting um, efficiency in the blood. So what we did is we found about 83 patients who had vitamin levels done at the same time of diagnosis. And I should make it clear that we did not check all new patients. These are patients to the physician at that point felt they were sicker, they had malabsorptive symptoms, and they wanted to make sure their vitamin levels were okay. And out of these 83 patients, 52 were females and the rest were males. And surprisingly, very, very few had low vitamin levels. So all the patients had normal vitamin A levels. Only two patients had vitamin E that was on the low side. And these two patients had typical malabsorptive type of symptoms. And only about 9% had low vitamin D. And none of the patients had severe vitamin D deficiency. On the other hand, the vitamin K, there was about 6% who had indirect signs of maybe low vitamin K level. Again, these are small numbers. And this is a retrospective study, so that it wasn't an anonymous checking. But again, the results say it seems like it is uncommon to have low vitamin levels in children with new onset celiac disease. And that could be either to uh, the fact that most of the new cereals and are fortified with vitamins, or also the common use of vitamins in infant during the first year of life, and also could be due to the fact that the type of celiac disease presentation or the presentation of celiac disease is changing, that we don't see as often that typical classic malabsorptive type of picture like we used to do before, and most of these patients have been diagnosed very early before they had the disease for a long time or before they had major malabsorption or chronic diarrhea. This is again, it's a retrospective study. It gives an insight that fat soluble vitamin is not as common as we thought it was in new onset celiac disease. Um, if they have low vitamin D, it's closer to the general population. And all these patients who had low levels, they corrected their levels very quickly with um, the vitamin supplementation and the gluten-free diet. A better prospective study will be more insightful and will be more helpful in accurately reporting the actual um, prevalence of vitamin deficiencies in children with celiac disease.